Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 23, today verse 42 and 43. Let's read it. Jesus is on the cross, and the thieves and he are having sort of a conversation here. Listen to what happens. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. So this thief turns to Jesus, and he says, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus, and then you look at this, and by the way, there's just a little piece here. It's not, not really our main emphasis, but it still helps us to understand it better. Because we know from the Bible several things that Jesus did not go to heaven on this day. So when he says, so I say to you, comma, today you will be with me in paradise, that's really not, couldn't be what it means. Uh, we also know that there's no punctuation in the original Greek here in this place. And so getting the emphasis in a language like English, where we have word order, is a very important piece. In Greek, it isn't quite the same. So really, it could also be translated just as easily in the Greek. Verily, I say to you today, comma, you will be with me in paradise. In other words, I'm saying this to you today, today, this day of all days, this day, this day, the day of your execution and my execution, the day where I and the sacrifice is being given, the atonement is being made, this day when everybody's gathered down there laughing and smiting us and, and uh, treating us with, with disrespect. This day when it looks like everything is ended and it's over and your life is ended and you're going down in flames. On this day, verily this day I say to you, you will be with me in paradise. You will be redeemed. And so Jesus is looking at it this way. And I think that's the more accurate way to look at the translation in this place. This is the ultimate day. This is the ultimate day in all of eternity. The day when Jesus gives his life on the cross for you and I. It's a beautiful day. It's a sad and remarkably awful day. And, yet, and so it has all these pieces. The day when Jesus comes and at the second coming, the literal second coming, that will be an awesome day as well. The day, the day when all the wicked are consumed, uh, the people who refuse to turn back and are insisting on their covenant with death, that will be an, a wild day. So those are two or three of the most intense days in the history of the universe, but this is one of them. And so Jesus says today, I'm telling you today on this day, you will be with me in the kingdom. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for watching over us. We want to be right. We want to be with you in paradise, in the kingdom. Bless, Lord, us with the same change in heart that you gave the thief on the cross, the thief who turned and said, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Help us in our hearts to be right, Lord. May we turn to you uh, at every turn, at every potential turn uh, to the wrong side. May we turn to you to the right side. Bless us by your Holy Spirit. Transform us, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, we need to look at all the things the Bible has to say about something. And sometimes it's going to come out different than we expect. Sometimes even different from what the translators have done with, with punctuation in the English translation. Hey, God be with you and bless you this day.